Okay, finally, I have uh, the, the time to install today. It's Sunday. Um, I got a few hours to demonstrate to you the that the Galaxy, especially my Get version. This is from the continuation of the Get version. That it um, the Galaxy is automatically inserted, and you don't have to define it. Unlike if you are using CLI, in my previous version, you need to Ansible this Galaxy install uh, blah 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 requirements YAML, right? So in here is automatic. So what I what I uh, be, be, before I install this one, um, my previous uh, I have a video about that five years ago, and of course it doesn't work anymore. And I have to give you this this guy. Where was the, this guy? Um, I, I will I will include the I will include the link of this tech 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 kala knowledge. I I I got the knowledge here to install, and and I will put all this instruction in the in the description of the YouTube. So I just basically you know disable as <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, there's 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 no repeat of this one. No, no take two. I, I'm just giving this a paper to to my colleagues. Um, okay, so you have to install this in that, and make sure you install Docker CA. If you don't have Docker CA, you have the Docker. It will not work. Okay, you should know how what's the trick behind it. If you don't have this one, it will not. You, you cannot continue. Yeah, it's useless. A AWX will not run um, so it will be included in the descriptions on in this YouTube and um, so first thing you need to do is you go to project and define the your project the only thing that as I said the only thing that you need to define in the call in the in the project is the caller and automatically the automatically the requirements are will be uh, in, injected inside you don't have to do as i said ansible galaxy install your requirements yaml um just playing with https right now because i don't have to play with with ssh uh, credential for, for git and anyway uh the ssh is also obsolete um they said that ssh is also not safe so it's better to use the 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 token if you use the token, it's just basically you put it somewhere inside there. Or I don't know the strategy. Maybe there's a strategy in in the new AWX tower. I mean, I'm not using AWX tower right now. I'm just using it for OpenShift. And in OpenShift, uh, it's it's a little bit different with the inventories and all that. Um, so I I just play with HTTP. So it's, so it's like this. So this 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 the mail this this two galaxy will just injected uh, automatically inside right so I didn't define define it and since my all these are public I don't have to put any source control credentials to and the only thing that I need to define is the the inventories uh, I just put the uh, define docker and I have two hosts and on the of course I have the I, I need to put the SSH password and they, they need to be common Otherwise, you have to define it in each, uh, you know, host the, the the password. So I have Docker and RHEL8, and if you go to the host, so the Docker is the in the Docker you need to define the no, this is redundant, right? So it should not be there. So because it's already in the inventories. Uh, so the Ansible it, it needs to, to have an, an IP and also the other one which is RHEL8. You know what? Let's de delete it. It's going to work. And make sure the inventory have all that. Okay. So it got two hosts, uh, and of course, when you define the project, the inventory is the host. Then you dip, you define the template. So in the in the template, you just basically um, put a name, 
uh, the type and then the inventory is docker as well and then the caller and then it, you select which channel yaml you have to use and then of course the credentials uh the credentials i just define the credentials machine of course and i put the the password right i didn't play with the ssh and passphrase so in the template again um just like that that there's nothing more uh, that I need to define uh, so I just click the, the rocket ship right and it should be quick it's just uh, you know a W X is it doesn't repress <laughs> but it's done right so I have two client or host and it goes it goes to the to the RHEL8 and if you go to the RHEL8 and right you you have the CSB if you have email I didn't I as I said uh, you have to to set up the email server for that but I didn't I I, I don't need to it's 100% swear to God that is working um so anyway I created that csv here uh yeah so i double click here and then it's, it's, it's something like this you see in racl8 is working but in the docker is version 7 and it doesn't even get get the bm version and even the nick is supposed to be the same right nick one and bmx net three so there's something you need to fix on you probably don't have uh, if you're using ansible tower you probably have lots of even six or seven yeah there's so th there's something to fix on my on my script why it's not working anymore so yeah so i'll, I'll include even the installation of of uh, awx and that's that that's how you, you, you do it in in awx you don't have to do to, to trigger the the galaxy it automatically added and basically the idea of of the galaxy is uh it's it's almost the same thing here i just i don't have time to to, to demonstrate it to you uh three that ansible I don't have thing. Um, sudo yum install minus y3. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically if in, in the AWX root, it will have the Ansible and with it will have all the roles that will be. Uh, triggered and it's automatically uh no i, I don't think uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's automatically updated but um you can probably put a policy on that one or, or trigger trigger it to to update or you can just basically sync the project here and my demo is done thank you guys